Hey guys, so as I'm editing this, I'm realizing there's gonna be a lot of informational things on here that I actually really wanna keep. So if um, it seems boring to you, you can skip through it, uh, but I do wanna preserve some of the memories that like I can go through and remember the tour stuff and when they were talking about it. So, or if you like it, enjoy. Hey doll, what did you want? Turn on TV now. <laughs> 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 Ticket anymore, so yes, in 15 minutes, we have 10 to 15 minutes. Go right ahead. This actually the main plaza that you see here was the, the foundation of the temple here totally the one that you go to the city my friends. Okay, the chronic says it actually was a 45 meter temple with Mount Corners with a face of chat on the way on the top, which is the rain god, was completely destroyed and with the same stones of that temple that was built right there in the main plaza they built the church of San Damasio, which it started to be built in the year 1547, it was finished in the year 1587. Well, Дерево? А ну-ка попробуем зайти сейчас. Заходи. Там ничего не видно? Что? Really?
reporting live from Cenotes. Cenotes. Cenotes? Cenotes. It's actually pretty cool. You get to go up all those stairs. And this right here, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Waterfall. Worth it. Мама, как вам понравилось? Понравилось, водички, так красиво. Сейчас холодно на улице, так что вы охладились немножко. Тебе это уже перестало этот страх быть? Да, перестало. Ну надо маму еще погонять, пожалуйста, не сверху. Нет, у меня так оно есть. It started raining, but the driver is not here, so... <laughs> That's what I get wet. Kompas! Kompas! Kana! Kana! Kambal! Kambal! Chumuk! Chumuk! Ichil! Ichil! Hachmanki! Hachmanki! Salud! Salud! We take you to a place where you don't need to be buying because it's just a business, which is a lie. <laughs> They want to tell you all these kind of things yeah. for you to buy something. Nunca has visto mexicano que es una palomita para nosotros. Cuando ya el presidente dijo, sabes que ya es tiempo que nos regreses el 15% porque haces premio esta zona económica como has querido, ¿sale? Y has hecho ricos a demás, no ayudar a que verdaderamente debes de ayudar, que son los mayas, pues te vamos a quitar la zona económica porque cuando Barbachano compró a Edward Thompson, tampoco eran ciudadanos mexicanos. Pero cuando escuchan este rumor, ¿qué hacen? Ederan. La propiedad, el título de propiedad a los descendientes de ellos que ya nacieron en México. Ya está el problema, el estira y jala. ¿Sale? ¿Tú quieres que van a soltar algo así, una mina de oro? <risa> no, pero perro. Ya no es solamente tu gorrita, tu cachucha, no, una toallita para. We just came and it's like pouring rain. <laughs> it's um training here so we have to buy ponchos and our tour guide said that if it rains it rains all day so now we're going to be dressed in ponchos when it rains it pours this is the corner this is the corner of this religious meeting point place. Okay, that was Wolf. Documents. I think we need that one back. 
archaeologists returning it to Washington, this institution, and they said, wow, it looks like a pyramid. They gave the archaeological name, pyramid, full, full trans pyramid. Now, archaeologists tell us, no, in Mexico, we don't have pyramids. Oh, pyramids are Egypt. Egyptians, you know, they don't pyramids. Yeah. When the pharaohs were dying, they made the bodies of the pyramids, that's where they were tombs. Yeah. This is not a tomb. See, it's not a pyramid. It's a temple. It's a full time. Uh, they were around 50 to 60,000 inhabitants. People living in the community. See that plus the ones you know, that are driving the community. So we appreciate a lot of pilgrimage. You know, peregrination. People that came from out yeah. were speaking to me. Yeah, so, so we think that the people were so glad that uh, lots of people, different groups, and so many kind of groups were arriving here to be part of this event. Right? Let me take it anyway. Why we have in the shield corn sets? Well, when they were doing this kind of event, it's because Mayans believe that at the end of this event, they have to choose one person to do offerings, right? They believe that if they do this, they could get this. Good rain, good harvest, everything Mother Earth is going to give you, right? That's why you came here to do offerings. And of course, they believe that something they could be get from the Mother Earth, right? If you see between those circles, we have jaguars. Can you see the jaguars? See? In my culture, when sunrise, and it's going to set down there and then get dark. They believed that jaguars, that they were going to protect them. While I was traveling to the Andrew Spade world, the jaguar was one of the most important symbols of my culture. They call Balam. Balam. They have different names according to the place we're exploring, right? That's why the village is called like that. That's why they name it like that. Jaguar's Temple. That's a kind of VIP, right? <laughs> Where lords, you know, main lords of Chichen Itza should be what defense happens right in this point, right? That's what I told you still says. The first one Each is person is over here is represented somebody who's been beheaded. And have to be chipped, right? Now I told you still says, no, come on. It was not in square, it was not a competition. They came here because they trust. They came here because they believe that it was really important the way where you, where you died. You, if, if you die in the raw way, you believe that they could be going to that upper speed world. In uh, 1953, I told you some memory. Could be not pretty easy. If they hit, should be at the Santa Claus right? right? That's what I told you. Don't know. Please don't write it. That's what I told you. Power tools were related to the first bit that Michelle. What power tools are you going to write in this one? Please come up. Everybody say the corner. Nowadays, that everybody knows like equinoxes, right? When the sun is going to set every March and September 21st, about 3 5 30, straight behind that south temple, that's where it sunset. Every March 21st of September, the sun set behind that temple. When that happens, the sun is going to be lighting in the and right back wall, that's where we're going to see. But after that, we're going to see a few triangles of light. That looks like if a real thing is coming from that temple to the bottom. 
It's going to be a line to that is going to have this yellow button. It's every 21st of March, we're going to set 13 triangles of light and shade. See? The most important Mesoamerican religious symbol, Mayan, from Chichen Itza, they could see, coming from Africa reaching the mother earth, then returning to the Catholic spiritual world, right? Maybe that's why it means that became one of the most important religious spending points in, in the studies of Mexico, right? It's still not working on another every 21st of month, of course. The thing is that the water doesn't get anymore because the world, the world, the world, the world the problem we have, that's why. But of course, thousand years ago, of course, the weather was perfect. It, it rains when it should be raining, it's, you know, and uh, they could be organized in anything according to this uh, state of the land of the okay? Of course, when that happens, they should be happy. They should be playing percussion instruments, they should be done doing dances, not dance at that time. That's why we have that Venus platform. The Venus platform or the stage we have down there, that's where they should be playing the percussion instrument. At that time, I told you those had a lot of groups, pilgrimage, you know, pilgrimations for Rabin and Chichen They should be getting from that point, walking to this one and going to the cenote to make to do the offerings right in that time. Right? Nowadays, of course, we don't have uh, drums, but we can do claps and see what happens. When you're riding from the temple and you make two claps, sound reach the second chamber and it's going to be amplified by the second chamber making a special acoustic that sounds like a bird it sounds like cats of bird right let's try it to make sure what i'm trying to do. <laughs> and if you could be there then you speak everybody down here for the years before 2007 i just to tell you please go ahead try it why not of course lots of people have to now there I'm so excited to be here at the one of the seven wonders of the world crazy but it's insane and if you take a minute just think about i'm at the one of the seven wonders of the world chichen itza wow so many things learned they made a movie up here where mel gibson throws a head off there's no sacrifices here according to archaeologists they don't think that the sacrifices happen here they just did like offerings here very exciting um and today instead of being super hot it's actually raining we're dressed in ponchos like that. What? My dad is carrying the backpack. <laughs> but this is insane. This is crazy. <sighs> blessed. I am blessed. To the tour guide, this is where the rituals happened. I wonder if that's where they chopped the heads off. Probably. That's probably where they did the beheading, right? Yeah. I don't know. I think they're laying down praying here. I think. I did think you see that little little man over there? I think that's where they beheaded. I was wondering. <laughs> but I don't know. Don't. We've got to go down that way. Yeah. Did you guys see anything there? Uh, it looks like a dirty water hole. It's not really cool. I wouldn't go there. I mean, the hole is big, but it's a long walk. Alright, let's go back. It's, a, it's impressive how they built the road there. Like, all the way there, there's a road. So is there anything else? I thought there was one more big temple building somewhere. Almost free. Almost free. Hey, can you have a noise in here? Will your mother know? He's scared. How did he know? He said for your mother-in-law? <laughs>
You just said something really enlightening. Can you repeat that? This is what archaeologists have said. That, uh, that and only, <laughs> the only way that uh, this ancient civilization were able to build things like this is if they've mastered agriculture. So if they have like plenty of supply of water and food, then the people, like pretty much, they want to do something else, you know, like it's like a hierarchy of needs. So once they've mastered, you know, shelter, food and water, they start moving on to the next thing. So like the next gratification or satis satisfaction like, level. So they started building these massive temples. They start building these massive homes, these marketplaces. Yeah, Good that's thought. That's a thought. Good thought. Daniel, did you see any jaguars? Because I keep hearing jaguars. That's a call. Are you sure that's not real jaguars? Mm hmm It's their water. We are officially tired. Going back home. Daniel, are you sleeping yet? Yeah. Wow. Surprised. And it is very much nighttime outside. Let's see what else we're gonna do. There is nothing more American to do after our tour to um, come and then um, eat Carl's Jr. Oh. Okay guys, I'm gonna end it right there. We got to experience so many cool things and then I'll post the next video on um, Cancun vacation because after we came back from um, the Chichen Itza, we went to Cancun the next day to rest and not explore anymore. We didn't end up exploring, but um, that's for the next video. So. I'm going to post the next one in a couple of days. So I guess I'll uh, see you guys then.